Other blade options include the tooth blade for roughing and a, and a blade ground 90 degrees to work as a scraper. The blade in the plane comes with a 25 degree primary bevel. Add the 12 degree bedding angle and you have an angle of approach of 37 degrees. There are three types of angle, a low angle, standard, and high angle. A low angle is 40 degrees or less, the standard angle is 45 degrees, and a high angle is 50 degrees or more. To get the best results in different types of woods, use this simple rule of thumb. Softer, straight-grained woods and end grain prefer a low angle cut. The standard angle cut will handle the broadest range of material. The harder, more figured material prefers a higher angle, 50 to 62 degrees. If you need an angle greater than 62 degrees, we have a blade ground at 90 degrees that you can use as a scraper. When roughing stock, you'll find a tooth blade very useful. You can take aggressive cuts with little risk of tear out, especially in highly figured woods like this piece of maple. The tooth blade is available for the 62 and the 164. The sides of these planes have been ground square to the sole, so you can use them for shooting an edge. The hot dog handle, which fits both the 62 and the 7.5, provides a comfortable grip when doing this operation. The hot dog is held in place with a set screw. It's important to make sure that the set screw is on the inside face of the tool so that you don't mar the working surface. Like any plane, when you're finished using it, a coating of lightweight oil will help protect from rust. The large format block planes can be used like any plane. Our DVD, Coarse, Medium and Fine with Christopher Schwarz, gives a good overview of where and why to use a jack, joiner, or smoothing plane. The choice between a bevel up or bevel down style plane is usually a matter of personal preference. You will find that there's a very different feel to the hand as you execute a cut. The large format block planes are a joy to use and simple to operate. Enjoy the opportunity to use these once rare tools.